Good morning, everyone. It's Carrie. I'm out on this kind of dreary day. As you can see, we have cloudy skies. Um, we've had some light rain during the night. And it got a little dark, and I was thinking it was going to rain, so I'd better get out here and, and accomplish some things before it does. But I wanted to show you some of the new plants that uh, I just bought. Now, I have to say that these plants do not look that good, but they will perk up and look better. Of course, they are overwatered. We had 12 inches of rain in February. 12 inches, that's a lot of rain for us. So in March, it's been pretty rainy also. And then we've had rain off and on for the last week. And these plants are totally overwatered. But they will perk up and they will look good. They had just been watered when I got them and they're just soggy. So um, they're a little limp, a little droopy, but they will get over it. Proven Winners plants, we get a very minimal amount, in my opinion, here in our area. Um, they'll get one cart, which is what um, they got of the Super Tunias, Super Binias, and the Super Bells. So each, the, the cart that I saw, it had four shelves. So they had four different kinds of plants. And then I turned around and looked on the back side of the shelf and I found a couple of a different kind. So they actually had five of the plants. Um, I bought three of each kind that they had and I'm probably gonna go back before they're gone and get some more because I have one basket that I'm gonna be doing that's gonna take a lot more plants than that. So um, I'll probably go back, but I was gonna show you what I have here today. So this first pink one, this is Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum. Uh, these were $4.28, and I think you would call these a four inch pot. And then I have Super Bell's Cherry Star, and that's a Calibracoa. And then the yellow one here, This is a Super Bell Saffron Calibracoa. These are so pretty and they just get prolific with their blooms. And so my plans, I'm gonna follow some of Proven Winners um, mixes that they have where you can go by their recipe and you know and create a basket. So this is Super Vigna Royal Red Verbena. And then, This is Super Bell's Cherry Star Calibracoa. And then this is one of my favorites. This is Super Tunia Royal Velvet. And this is Super Bell's Pomegranate Punch Calibracoa. Super Bell Saffron. Uh, so like I said, I tried to get three of each plant. Well, one of my birthday presents that I got from my husband was a, it's a, a stand with a cocoa liner pot, some, similar to this, but the cocoa liner already has the holes in it on the sides so you can plant, so that your, your, uh, your plants will hang down and they, they will be covering the side, the plants will come out the side. So I'm really excited about that, but I, got, I ordered this from King, the Kingsman Company. And not this one, this one come from, um, Martin's Home and Garden Center. But I will show you the Kingsman one that I got when I actually put it together and get ready to plant it. So then some of my purchases from uh, Martin's Home and Garden, I got this hanging basket. Now, these are proven winners flowers also. And these are Super Bell's Holy Moly. And I just thought it was beautiful. So anything that I can find, uh, proven winners, especially a Super Bell, a Super Tunia, the Super Verbena, all of those I try to find and I purchase all that I can afford to purchase of them. And I would have purchased more at Lowe's yesterday, but I didn't have enough cash on me, which that really doesn't matter, but I could have used my card. But I just wanted to stick with the cash that I have put back for buying plants. 
So the, this pot, this is what my daughter got me for my birthday. And oh, I just love it. It is so gorgeous. These are not proven winner's plants. So the first one that you see, let's see if I can get this to focus. This is an Empress Imperial Blue Verbena. And that is the purple flower. And then the white flower, it says Typhon Mega White Bacopa. And it really cascades out of the pot. It's really pretty. And then I'd say this is called a coral uh, geranium. It doesn't have a tag in here for it. And I don't know who it's by, but it is just gorgeous. And I'm actually thinking of keeping this, instead of hanging it up, I'm gonna put it on top of my fountain. I've taken some pictures of it there. <clears throat> I've taken some pictures of it on top and I just thought it was just gorgeous. And I'm really excited about getting started on that project. And this is a hibiscus. We had a gentleman here that came through town. He, he set up uh, in the middle of our little town of Normandy and he is selling these. They come out of Florida. So I got um, a hibiscus, got two very large ferns. Now I wouldn't normally buy ferns this early, but I'm a photographer and I have a prom coming up this weekend and I have to have a set made up that I do uh, for the prom and it's based on what their the theme is for the prom so I bought those to be able to use in my set now I've had these trays for over two months now now I've had these trays for about a month and this is a project that I'm going to start today if we don't get rain uh, we're supposed to have some storms and high winds so I don't know if I'll get started on this or not. I've been putting it off. But this is Seabold Stone Crop. It's Sedum Seboldii. And I was so excited that Lowe's got these in. So I bought two trays of them. I think they were $16.98 a piece. And I will show you the area that I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna use them. And I'm taking all of the Sempervivum out of this rocking chair. And I'm gonna use these also in the project. Along with some of these other plants, I've got a sedum at sea urchin stone crop. I've got some more Sempervivums. It's another, this is Angelina stone crop. Some of these are gonna go in another bed, but this is, um, Pileoseum hens and chicks. So it's already got babies. This is the sea urchin stone crop. And this is Alexander's white. This is Iberis. And I think it's really pretty. So these are some of the plants that I have bought and I have some more sedum, um, uh, heuchera, and a daisy may. And then from Mountain Crest Gardens, I got in this Hagum Red. There's two of those. And then I got in, it's Sempervivum Rotno. Two of those. Real pretty plants. I'm going to be using those out. I'm going to call this my Sempervivum and Sedum bed because that's what's going to be in that bed. And then at Lowe's last night when I was getting my Super Tunius and stuff, they had in some new plants. So I got my first Golden Barrel Cactus. A small one because I was afraid to buy one, especially the larger ones. I was afraid I would not have room for it. And then this beautiful little burrito or donkey tail. This is a sedum. This is one of the prettiest ones that I found out that I could purchase. 
and it was cheap. It was less than four dollars. So I think this was a great find. Actually a full little pot. And then this was gifted to me. Um, a lady here that has uh, a large greenhouse with a lot of orchids and different plants. I don't know what this one is, but she gave me some pieces that already had roots and it's really perked up. It's put on some new leaves and I'm excited about it. I also have some just rooting. And then this is a bed that I started working on last year. So <laughs> it's got two limelight hydrangeas or it has one limelight hydrangea and that's the new one I planted last fall. And then these are tulips that I planted in the fall and we had such warm weather in February that these came up but no blooms or anything. So I just planted them in the fall, probably be next year before I have any blooms on them. And then this is another hydrangea that has never done very well. So yesterday I got out here and I went ahead and put down some um, time release fertilizer. And I'm really gonna be watering these this next year. This corner does not get a lot of rain. It has to really blow in here for, um, for the plants to, to get any rain, so I really have to water this area. But that is uh, where some of the plants that I just bought are gonna go, and I'm gonna fill this bed up. It needs a lot of work, and it's gotta be remulched. And then, if you follow me down my sidewalk, Now I would turn around and show my face, but this camera is too heavy for that. This is going to be my sedum and sempervivum bed. I will put the name of this plant. Um, I will give you the name of this plant. You'll see it running across the screen. First of all, I have to go look it up because I can't remember what it is. But this gets about three foot wide and three foot tall, and it takes about 10 years for it to get that large. So it's only been in the ground just a little bit less than a year. And I just fertilized it. I fertilized on Thanksgiving and on Easter. So I just, actually on Easter day, I've come out here and put a little fertilizer around it. And this corner, it faces southeast on our house. So it gets a lot of morning sun and then more dappled shade as the day goes by. Same way with this bed. So I'm getting ready to put a lot of my new plants out here. But my sedum and my sempervivum, everything that can be outside and stay there year round is gonna go in this bed. I'm not sure how I'm gonna design it since I have the two, um, two trays. I think I'm gonna put them along the front here and then just fill in with all of the, the other Sempervivums that I have. It is sheltered from a lot of rain. And then I also have an awning. This is over my studio door. And that kind of deflects some of the rain that it gets. So it will be great. For the succulents it's not so great for this bush even though i love the bush here and i just make sure that i water the bush not the whole um, bed so that is my plan for this area and that's what i'm hoping to be able to get out here and plant here in just a little while and i'll show you the finished version when i get it done and i'll also show you how i'm putting it together yeah. thank you for watching